we're going to want to want to cover those with tape right there. You see right above my finger right now. Those need to be covered with a piece of this tape right here. Because you only want to cover those dots. Alright, next thing we want to do is take the light panel and press the top of the Z side that we have down onto the little connecting point right above those eight dots we just covered up. So right above my finger, right there on that little square. That is where we're going to want to press the top of the red connecting point onto. All right, now that your light is connected on, sitting, resting on that connecting point, next thing you want to do is install the battery back in. So take the little battery bracket that we took, that was taken off earlier, using the forceps, and just place it right back on top of that. And it really is so helpful if it's magnetized, guys. Like, I almost just dropped my screw down in between the battery and that wouldn't, wouldn't have wanted to take that out, so really do magnetize these screwdrivers before you use them. All you have to do is rub them onto a magnet. Okay guys, now that we have the battery reconnected, we're going to want to cut another piece of this little tiny tape to tape the connecting point down with the red wire on top of it so we know it doesn't come up. This one can be a little bit longer because you're going to go right back over those eight dots again just to make it easier for you and make it have a better longer lasting connection. But it still needs to be just as tiny as far as being thin goes. And I always make sure mine is the right size before I put it over there. Alright, now that we've got that back on top of there guys you want to push these connectors back down into their spots. Replug those in. And we're going to want to test the light panel. So now turn the iPhone on. We just want to touch this to something metal. And it works. So the next part is a little tricky and kind of weird. But uh, basically you want to take the remaining remainder of your tape and roll it up into a little tube that you want to place on top of this connecting point. So when you put your EMI shield back on, it's going to put pressure on this and make it glow. So now that we have that, we're going to want to put our EMI shield back on and test to make sure we have this installed correctly. All right, guys, we got the EM high shield on. Just so you know, it did take me a very long time to get this exactly placed right. So when you have the shield on, it'll just turn on when you hit touch it to any piece of metal. Just because it was very hard to get that wire to stay on that little stupid little square piece of crap. But I finally got it on after about a um, 45 minutes of messing with it. Got that stick tape on. I would say do not use all your tape the first time because you are definitely going to need some more of it to redo it. I had to use the same pieces over and it did not work easily. But now that we got this square on there, um, you're going to want to take the little hook bronze cable that you made, take off this one left hand side screw, open that a little bit, and just notch this around there under the screw so it will stay on. Now I know in the KO Gadget video it does show you doing it on the right hand up in the right hand side but do not do it on the screw that they show you in the video because that is actually the Wi-Fi antenna screw and there has been a lot of instances where people have lost their abilities to use Wi-Fi on their iPhone because of that and there we go we now have the panel glowing and on Now we want to get out the brand new back panel that KO Gadget has sent us. After all of our hard work and figure out where we are going to tape this panel onto here. Alright guys, now they did send us some black tape in the package with it. But what I would actually recommend is using some black electrical tape. 
because it's going to be a lot thinner because there have been a lot of problems with there being a gap at the bottom and I'm going to try to make mine as thin as possible so I don't have that problem. <sighs> I'm so excited. And now time for the back panel. So we want to take out this little blue shield stuff over the panel and we just want to take off this back covering and just to compare the two really quick like you do see it doesn't have this shield right here also it's a lot lighter some people have contemplated whether it's glass I have I do believe it's glass but they have made it a lot thinner guys just so you know just to accommodate that back panel in there. And lastly, we just want to put these screws back in. Grab my pentalobe screwdriver again. And there you have it, guys. I got the awesome KO Gadget Light Mod. And I'm really just loving this right now. Woo! This is amazing. This is where to be. And just like you know, um, this is Boss Tech 7 here with the KO Gadget Light Mod, and uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos, guys. Please subscribe, comment on this video. Have you had any troubleshooting problems, anything like that? How did yours go? Do you love it? Because I'm definitely loving mine right now. I'll have a review out of how well this works in a little bit, but for now, stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all later.